Uh, one of our viewers is having problems with colors sinking in uh, to, as the painting dries and she says how best to ha handle sunken in colors. Um, I understand the concept of oiling in by the way that's also called oiling out uh, but there are many conflicting suggestions about this on the internet. If you're working fat over lean do you oil in with leaner mixtures early on or later oil in with fatter mediums? Can you end a painter, painting with oiling in and then redo it weeks later if the color sinks in again? And she adds to that, how can I gift or sell a painting with confidence that the color won't sink later? The, the whole issue of fat over lean is is the heart of her question. When we're painting with oil paint, we have to be concerned about the integrity of that paint or this will happen. The colors will sink in. So if, if you start out your painting with thinner mixtures, if, you want, if you're painting in layers, you start out the painting with thinner mixtures, but you you, you do away with that, uh, the, whatever medium you use to thin with it as you build the painting up so that your fatter mixtures are on top, then you won't have that problem or it won't be quite so obvious. Whites and some of the uh, opaque colors are going to sink in somewhat, but it won't be uh, a real, real problem for you if you're careful about the integrity of the paint keeping the paint as close to its original form as it comes out of the tube uh, towards the end of the painting. So that's the way, oh by the way, and there's one other thing you can do to solve that problem or prevent the problem from happening. The other is to be sure that the, the surface that you paint on is well primed because the priming uh, onto the canvas or on whatever surface you're painting on, the priming seals it and prevents that oil from soaking in away from the color of the paint. So having a well primed canvas and following closely, if you're painting in layers, following closely the rule of fat over lean, I have other quick tips on this, um, you can avoid this problem. You don't have to use a medium while you're painting. I, I very rarely use a medium uh, with my paintings. So if you don't use a medium while you're painting, you really don't have a whole lot to worry about. Being, being uh, sloppy about the medium and thinking that you can add a solvent towards the end of the painting and have uh, thin mixtures of paint mixed in with fatter mixtures of paint, you are going to have this problem. So how do you solve it? Well, I rummaged through um, some of the uh, little studies I did for, I have done for uh, our video lessons and I found one that does have some colors sunk in. Um, so I must have been going too fast and dipped my brush into the thinner as I was finishing up. Now I want to show you the difference here because I'm going to put this right here. Now I'm going to tilt it. You see, can you see in this upper corner right here, this upper corner, can you see that it's a little bit more glossy? If I tilt that, there you go, right there. See how that's a little more glossy? Now I've already oiled in that corner. And you can see that the colors are brighter. I don't know if it is quite so evident. The tilt, yeah, now you can see. You can see that the colors uh, in the part that are, that's oiled in are brighter, more vibrant than the rest of the colors. So I'm going to show you this technique, and this will save your hide if you're having if you have that problem of your colors being uh, sunk in. So let's uh, put this on the easel here, and. Get that tightened down. Now, what do you need? You only need a very, very simple thing. You can actually do this with plain linseed oil. If you want it to dry faster, Winsor Newton recommends that you use sun thickened linseed oil. It's available uh, in all art supply stores. 50 50 mixture of sun thickened linseed oil and mineral spirits. Mineral spirits, uh, Gamsol is a, is a uh, refined mineral spirits used in painting as um, 
permalba, not permalba, what, um, terpenoid, terpenoid is. So either one of those that is a refined or white mineral spirits, 50% of the mineral spirit with 50% of the sun thickened uh, linseed oil will enable it to dry faster. So here's the process. It's the best material to use for this is gauze. Just plain old gauze that we use to cover our wounds <laughs> that you get in the drugstore. Um, and you can get these, I think maybe the, these little packages might might be available. And this particular one has two little pieces of gauze. They're called gauze sponges. Make sure it doesn't have uh, other things in it. Uh, just plain gauze. And the reason for that is that it has no lint. And so you don't have to worry about lint being left behind. So there's the first thing. The next thing is just a, a, a little container of some sort that has in it either just plain linseed oil or uh, the formula that Winsor Newton recommends of the 50-50 sun, um, sun thickened linseed oil with the mineral spirits. I'm just using plain linseed oil. So here's the way you go. Um, wrap the gauze around your finger, something like that. Dip the gauze into the and get into the linseed oil that you're using and you have it nice and saturated. Now, very gently, let's see, very gently you rub it over the entire area of the painting. Very gently, but being sure that it's thoroughly covered. And you might have to, um, depending on the size of the painting, you might have to re-dip I don't know if that, I don't know if that's visible. If, I don't know if what I'm doing here is visible, but I can take the I can take the painting off when uh, when I finish this demonstration and show you. You might see the colors begin to look brighter as I do this, as I move across. And I get to you have to look at it sideways to be uh, so that you can see the sheen to be uh, sure that you have all the areas covered. Work it in really, really good, but not hard not rubbing really hard, uh, just firmly rubbing that soaked, uh, the gauze soaked in linseed oil or the other mixture through it. Now this has to be done on a dry painting. Um, I, sh I should have said that to begin with. You want that painting to be thoroughly dry at least uh, a week depending on how thick the paint is, but you want it to be thoroughly dry so that when you rub your hand across it no paint comes off on your hand. Otherwise you're going to pick up paint and you're going to smear it. So, um, I hope I've made all that clear. Now, now, the other thing is, once you have it thoroughly covered, then you need to wipe off the excess. So, a clean piece of gauze and very gently wipe off the excess paint. And what's going to happen here, this is really interesting, what's going to happen here is that you're going to get some residue of paint. You see that? because where that paint uh, received more of the, the solvent the, uh, or received too much solvent and destroyed the integrity of the paint it gets it rises to the surface and because it rises to the surface and the oil sinks into the back that's why the colors get sunken in and so uh, you can expect don't get alarmed you can expect that you're going to get some residue as you're doing this. So you continue throughout the whole piece. You continue. Um, rotate this thing and get off the excess. And if you don't get off the excess, you'll have something uh, that we call tearing. Or some of that oil may begin to come to the surface and drip down. You don't want that. You just want to uh, we want to have just enough of that oil on there that it's going to to soak in uh, to the the paint behind it. Now, be sure that the sheen is consistent. And I'm going to take this off now and show you. Let's see if I can show you. So you can see the sheen throughout. So you want that sheen to be consistent throughout, and if it's not consistent, I see one little place as I'm holding it here. I'm holding it here. You can't see, but I can. I can see that I need to wipe off just a little bit more. 
So I want that sheen consistent. And I may have to reach for even, even a third piece of gauze in order to be sure I have that sheen consistent. And once the sheen is consistent, let's see, is it now? I believe it is. Okay, once the sheen is consistent, then you allow that to dry. And it, if you're using plain linseed oil, it may, have, it may take several days, two or three days sometimes, for it to be thoroughly dry. When it thoroughly dries, if any of the colors are still sunk in, then you do that process again. You do it a second time and wait for it to be thoroughly dry. Once it has, uh, it may take two or three applications depending on how badly your colors have sunken in. But once you have uh, reached the point, uh, if you've done two or three applications, it shouldn't take more than about three. Uh, and, and once it's dry, the surface is even, the colors are nice and bright, then it will stay that way. You let that get thoroughly dry and then you put a, a coat of final picture varnish on it. It will stay. You don't have to worry about it sinking back in uh, once you go through this process. So that was an extended process, but if you follow that very, very carefully, you can solve that problem of those sunken in colors in all of your paintings. Hope you enjoyed this quick tip. If you have questions or a suggestion for a quick tip, leave us a comment right down here in the YouTube comment box. And take a trip over to dyingmice.com and look at all the things we have there for you, including full-length video tutorials. And while you're there, sign up for our newsletter so you'll always be informed of our latest adventures. And thanks for watching.